What's up everyone, Sean here, and for this Hawk Talks video, I just hope to make this quick, but we'll see. But anyway, this is supposed to be a quick video about something that came to mind when it came to Pokemon Sword and Shield. As a lot of people know by now, this has been stirring a lot of controversy with a number of things that happened throughout its promotions and marketing, and even after its launch, people are still you know, talking about because Pokemon is such a big game. It's, a, it's such a significant part of a lot of gamers' lives, including myself. Uh, I, you know, started playing it back in, you know, the old days of Red and Blue, of course, like many other people. And we've all go grown and still, you know, a number of us still love Pokemon to some extent. And we are passionate to see these things still be like fun and just really really awesome to play you know time and time again for, with each passing generation and you know pokemon has gone through many changes for the better or worse depending on how you view things but sword and shield is definitely mixed i feel and right now it seems like it's a sign that it's at the crossroads and it's you know, hard to say what is going to happen for the future. Uh, Masuda has said in the past that the National Dex is likely not going to appear in future Pokemon games, which is significant for a number of people, or a lot of people, let's just say. And this could mean, you know, big for the rest of us who, you know, like to go past that and just like the game or, you know, play the game for the sake of things and see if we like it or not when it comes to the game itself. Now, it is safe to say that the biggest problem that Pokemon Sword and Shield has right now is the roster literally cut in half. A lot of people compare it to the Thanos Snap since literally half the Pokemon are gone for this iteration. Therefore, automatically already, half the people are gonna, you know, not like the game one way or the other. Someone's favorite is not there, and half of those people are gonna, you know, be very expressive about that. Whether it's, you know, in a constructive manner, or for a lot of people, in a very aggressive or angry manner, anyway. And, uh, you know, again, I do understand where these fans are coming from. There's a lot of emotional ch attachment and people put a lot of time and effort and heart and love into these Pokemon games over the years. And just so to see that, you know, in, in a console like the Nintendo Switch, they won't appear until probably Pokemon Home, po hopefully. And hopefully we will see in the future, you know, changes. But... We'll have to see about that. We haven't even crossed the bridges yet. Now, sorry, this is all rambling so far, but this is supplemental to my point that I'm trying to get here. And it's the solution to solving this little case here. Now, again, the biggest problem with Pokemon Sword and Shield is the fact that half the Pokemon are not present in this game. And it, you know, essentially breaks the spirit of gotta catch them all, which is, you know, the the motto for Pokemon and the essential, you know, spirit of Pokemon is not entirely there. And I felt like, you know, there was something that could have been done to uh, meet the middle ground, let's just say, more ways than one. And I've heard this from several YouTubers throughout, you know, my viewing or browsing as Pokemon came out uh, as of recent, uh, including... Uh, Jim Sterling and several others as well. And I'm kind of glad that these guys actually have the same thought that as I did. And I was kind of afraid to express that, but you know, since other people have expressed it already, I might as well, you know, put in my two cents about it. The best solution I have in mind to help meet the middle ground is have uh, just 150 new Pokemon in this iteration of the game, meaning make this the new red and blue for you know the the younger generation i think you know it's been time for the younger generation to have their own pokemon game to you know be able to look back on and say this was my first game you know loud and proudly right and have their own 150 pokemon to kind of boast about so in an attempt to please more people they've tried to stuff in more pokemon from the older generations but it just wound up you know being a mixed problem now uh while you please some people you've 
you know, angered a number of people and put them into a displeased sort of state for the franchise. Uh, that's pretty much, you know, how I see things for right now, and uh, that's pretty much like how I, you know, think when it comes to trying to fix the game. Literally just have 150 new Pokemon rather than have, you know, let's say, uh, hypothetically 80 Pokemon, 80 new Pokemon and then the rest of them is like all the other Pokemon in the first place. It just winds up dividing, you know, the people and the fan base, of course, and it causes just more problems. That way also, you have more time to polish the game, you have more time to polish up the gameplay, the story, the, you know, the experience overall, and of course, the Pokemon themselves, with the animations and attacks and how they react to, you know, a number of actions, like petting them or nurturing them, providing them curry or feeding them or giving them love, anything of the sort. They could have been able to put more effort into those 150 Pokemon and make it a lot more polished that way rather than worrying about, you know, the rest of the, what, 600 plus Pokemon or 700 or 800 even to the point where in total we've almost are on the cusp of reaching to a thousand if not already and most importantly it feels like you're catching all of them in Galar. Now sure you're not catching all of the Pokemon in all generations but it still gives the players the feel of catching all the Pokemon just in that region therefore keeping the most important essence of Pokemon in the first place. Trying to shove in all those older Pokemon it only, you know, puts more strain on the development team. And again, it's just, you know, it's an attempt to just please some people and winds up, you know, dividing the fan base at that. While, yes, I do appreciate some of the Pokemon making it in there, like Gengar and Leafeon and so on and so forth, there are still Pokemon that have not made it in there. And I would have been okay to, to just see new Pokemon in, in, in general. I'm okay with seeing new things when it comes to Pokemon as a franchise. Uh, it's always a nice, you know, refreshing thing, and it's always nice to see, you know, uh, Pokemon hitting that refresh button and having a new assortment of Pokemon for, you know, the younger kids to be able to have that nostalgic feeling later on, like myself with Red and Blue. So, do you guys know what I'm getting at? So, basically, have 150 Pokemon exclusively for Sword and Shield. And, of course, maybe include very few old Pokemon, like Eevees and stuff like that. So, that way, you can have your, you know, your your new evolution for the Galar region. And we haven't yet to see a new evolution, which is a little disappointing, if I'm going to be honest. We, you know, haven't even seen the Flying type, the Dragon type, the Rock type, Ground type, so on and so forth. Or, you know, and, and you know, it's something I was kind of looking forward to, but, you know, it's not here. And that could have been part of the 150 Pokemon, you know, that could have happened with Sword and Shield. But no, they've gone about the wrong way to try to please more people. I think people would have had no problem with, you know, trying out a new Pokemon. Or two, or three, or ten, or 150 at that. It's just nice to see more new Pokemon, you know, coming along our way. Then later on, you can have that one game that includes all the the Pokemon in one place. Let's say a new Pokemon Stadium for Nintendo Switch. And it seems like Pokemon Home is kind of like the closest thing since Pokemon Home will feature battles including, you know, local battle and online battle seems like, right? That's what I'm trying to assume anyway, but I could be wrong. So anyways, just to reiterate my point one more time, my solution to the problem or the biggest problem for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is, you know, the whole Pokédex being cut out in the first place and cutting half the Pokemon at that, is just don't include the older Pokemon or previous generation Pokemon and just include the brand new generation Pokemon and having 150 of them or 140 of them. That's, you know, a pretty good number as well. That way you can have the dev team to focus on the brand new Pokemon with great animations, great, you know, polished look and a better looking environment, possibly more polished gameplay, just a new, just a more polished experience, you know, with you know, better quality story or colorful characters like the gym leaders and a brand new team of villains at that. So unfortunately, it seems like Game Freak overworked themselves for 
the wrong kind of results and they kind of left themselves in this state right now to where they have to include the Pokemon that people you know love from long ago and try to please them that way but it's hard to say as to what's going to happen with Pokemon Sword and Shield or you know the future of Pokemon in general I just hope that the next time Game Freak comes out with a next generation sort of Pokemon game I just hope that the next time they develop a brand new core RPG Pokemon game they just focus on the brand new Pokemon and you know include some of the you know region exclusive Pokemon like you know like a like a brand new looking I don't know Pikachu or brand new Eevee Lucian Pokemon that have not received their regional versions of whatever and at that so that's just my take on things and how I would approach things when it comes to making a brand new Pokemon game on the Switch especially during its debut now with that all said I do still really like Pokemon Sword and Shield right now it's still a Pokemon experience I'll definitely talk more about that in my review for Pokemon Sword and Shield that hopefully we would come out uh, soonish. Uh, I still have a way to go to finish the game. I just beat the uh, Dark Gym Leader in my first playthrough for Pokemon Sword anyway. So that's pretty much it for me. For reals, that's all I have to say for the solution for Pokemon Sword and Shield's biggest problem, and that is, well, have 150 Pokemon. Anyway, if you have any different solutions or a different take on this subject, uh, or anything related to Pokemon Sword and Shield, how you guys feel about it, I'd love to see those comments down in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell and set the settings on all, so that way you know when I put out new videos, uh, such as the upcoming and inevitable Pokemon Sword and Shield review. Thank you so much, this has been Sean for the Hawk Talks, talking about the solution for Pokemon Sword and Shield's biggest problem. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sean out.